So you're planning a trip to somewhere exotic where you can relax, unwind, and have some fun with the minimum possible responsibility. A cruise might be perfect for you. You get a giant boat to cart your ass around. You get to live in the boat, and they feed you on the boat. You can get super drunk in relative safety. You might be tantalized by the all-you-can-drink package deals. After all, being super drunk at sea is no time to worry about moderation or cost. But is all-you-can-drink as good a deal as it sounds? These packages vary from cruise line to cruise line, but typically you can pay a flat rate per day for a particular tier of liquor, beer, and wine, and some packages include non-alcoholic drinks like cappuccinos, bottled water, fresh squeezed orange juice. A few cruise lines include room service drinks in your all-you-can-drink package, but most only cover drinks in the ship's bars and dining rooms. Let's take a look at Celebrity's classic package. It covers a limited selection of low to mid-range drinks up to $6 a beer, $8 a cocktail, and $9 a glass of wine. At $55 a day, how much would you have to drink to come out ahead? That depends on your drink of choice. If you plan to pound Bud or Coors at $4.50 a pop, you would need to drink about 12 beers a day to break even. Most of the cocktails that are covered in the classic package are $6.50 to $7.00. At that rate, you'd need to drink eight cocktails a day to break even. Most of the wine covered in the classic package is priced seven to eight fifty a glass. You would need to drink about seven glasses a day to break even. Celebrity's premium package costs ten dollars more a day, but lifts a lot of the restrictions. It covers a much larger selection of brands and has a limit of thirteen dollars a drink. Unfortunately, this package covers none of the craft beers, and the highest cost beer that's covered is six dollars. You'd have to drink about 11 Stella Artois a day to break even. Cocktails in this package can run from $8.50 to $12. You would need to drink about 7 martinis a day to break even. If you only drank the $12 wine, you would need 6 glasses a day to break even. What if you want it all? 5 cocktails, 1 beer, 1 wine, and some non-alcoholic drinks for breakfast, and we're at break even at $55.50. Drink more than this scenario, and you can start to save money. These packages are touted as economical and freeing you from worrying about money, but they cause a new problem. The guessing game of, is this drink that I want covered, or am I going to have to pay extra for it? If your goal is to be the wisest wizard on the boat, then spring for the premium package. Keep in mind that they will cut you off if you're irresponsibly inebriated, drink package or not. Remember, it's only money saved if you were planning to drink more than the package price in the first place. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, you might like my Kegerator vs. Six Pack analysis. Or maybe subscribe to be alerted when new stuff comes out.